Hi everyone, this is my second day of my 30 day Japan trip and today I'm gonna show you a tour of my Airbnb. Uh, it's right here in Tokyo and it's about four minutes away from a train station which is pretty convenient and this is what it looks like from outside. Okay, let's now go inside. When you go inside, there's this place where you're supposed to take off your shoes. That's pretty common in Japan. And then as you can see, there's a super tiny hallway here. And then on the left, there's a little kitchen. There's stove and, and fridge and everything else here. And then the bedroom. Uh, so originally we had two single beds here, but my girlfriend and I decided to put them together to make it a double bed. Sorry, it's a little bit messy, but there's this uh, weird thing here. And then when you turn around, there's a little table, uh, two chairs, and a TV. And that's pretty much it. It's like pretty small, but I think a lot of Japanese apartments are really small like that. Anyway, my favorite part of this apartment is actually the bathroom. So let me show that to you. I think uh, when you come to a Japanese apartment, the first thing you'll notice is that, you know, the bathroom is sort of separated. There's uh, the shower room here, and then there's the toilet here. They're completely separate. And uh, you know, I love this toilet because it's super high tech actually. Uh, it always stays warm, which is nice. And there, you know, there's a bunch of buttons here and there's this bidet thing, which basically squirts water into your butt. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So basically you just need to obviously sit here and then, you know, press this button and this thing uh, comes out and it just squirts water into your butt, just like that. Anyway, the next thing I want to show you is the shower and the bathtub. You know, I love these, I guess, traditional Japanese bathtubs. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, Japanese people use them pretty much every day to take a hot bath. And here they have this sort of uh, semi-automatic system where you can just press this button. And then it'll sort of, you know, start talking to you and then it'll tell you to open this tap water. And once it's full, uh, it's gonna stop automatically and it'll let you know that it's ready. Okay, so for this whole thing, uh, I paid about a thousand US dollars to stay here for a week. Uh, you know, the obvious question is, is it worth it? Well, I think it is, you know, it's for the two of us and the price is actually not too bad. I think it's uh, sort of comparable to like hotels in Tokyo too. Uh, you know, I like the location and I like how uh, everything is clean. So I think it's definitely worth it for some people. You know, I know that there are like uh, cheaper places to stay in Tokyo, but maybe if you're visiting uh, Tokyo for the first time and if you want to sort of get a glimpse of what life might be like in Tokyo, you know, using Airbnb might be a good option for you. All right, that's it for this video. And you know, if there's anything you want me to make a video about in Tokyo or in other places in Japan, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do about that. Anyway, bye guys.